All right, what's going on, fish nerds? And welcome back to another fish store tour. Today we are going to Blue Hook Aquatics. And uh, this store will probably look familiar to you if you've watched my other fish store tours. Because we have been here before, but it was called Top Shelf Aquatics. And a few months ago they uh, rebranded, renamed the place Blue Hook Aquatics. And I was talking to the owner, Dave. He said the reason he went with the rebranding is because they are expanding their selection of fish. They used to be known as kind of a uh, specialty store for people interested in African cichlids. And then he got into a lot of the uncommon plecos, but he's expanding beyond just the cichlids. He's not just a specialty store. He's carrying a much wider variety of fish and so that's why the name change and the rebranding just so that people wouldn't hear the name and automatically just think african cichlids he wants people to know he does have a wider variety and he does indeed have a wider variety as you'll see uh in this video now the first three tanks when you walk in the door are saltwater tanks and he's got one more but then the rest of this store is all fresh water you can see here he's got a big cichlid tank all kinds of different cichlids that I'm not going to try to name what they are. These are all fish that I really enjoy looking at, but as I've said in almost all these fish store tour videos, I'm not well versed in African cichlids, so I can't just call off the names of all these different fish, but I do think these are some gorgeous fish and I uh, really enjoy looking at this tank. He's got some cool stuff in here. And this guy right here coming up, that's just a beautiful fish. Look at him. That's, that's that's a cool looking fish, if you ask me. I really liked him. And this is completely random, and maybe I'm just a nerd, but I really liked this pump, how that you could see through there and see the uh, yellow motor, not the motor, but the propeller yellow. It just kind of made me think of like a race car where you can look in, see the disc brakes, and they got the colored discs in there. I, I thought it was cool. I, I, but whatever. So you got some flame fish or fire fish, whatever it is they're called there in that last saltwater tank. And then coming down here, got some CPDs, some celestial pearl danios, got a few shrimp in there, some stirby quarries, nice little tank. I was tempted by the CPDs. I didn't buy any though, but got some stirby quarries in there, of course. Everybody loves the stirby quarries. And then coming on down here, these were some very nice looking. Achilles. I think it said Christy Killies was what was written on the tank. These were very neat looking and uh, the video doesn't do them justice. They had a lot more color, but it's kind of washed out. My exposure wasn't quite right, but uh, they had a really pretty orange yellow color. You can kind of see that speckling down their body and very neat little fish. I was tempted to get some of these as well. I came very close to bringing some of those home. And eventually I may get some of these on the 10 gallon rack as well. So we got a bunch of stuff in here. Odessa barbs, peppermint plecos, platinum angels. Those platinum angels were really pretty. Got a few different kinds of, uh, I guess, geos in here. Got a bunch of clown loaches and uh, got some rainbows in here. And this is another tank that was really neat to watch. There's several tanks in this fish store that I ended up catching myself without the camera or anything just sitting there watching the tank just because there were a lot of cool fish that I was just enjoying watching and uh, it, this was one of those tanks I just had a good time just sitting and watching those Kahaka, uh, Kahaka rainbows the blue ones love those fish and uh, those are on my must buy list eventually I'm thinking I might get a few of those for the 75 gallon. Very pretty fish. Probably my favorite rainbow fish so far. But that platinum angel right there, he was just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful fish. And this pleco right here that's hanging off the, the edge of that wood. One, it's cool how he's just kind of dangling, hanging off the edge of that piece of driftwood there. But look how cool looking he is. All those little white spots on him. That's just a really pretty pleco. I, uh, I may use him for the thumbnail. You'll know before I do at this point because I'm, I'm throwing that out there while I'm doing this voiceover. But you'll have already seen the thumbnail so you'll know whether or not I used him. But he's a really cool little pleco there. He's one that I ended up just kind of 
sitting and watching for a while. And then he just comes down here and he just poses for the camera. How often do plecos do that where they just come down here and say, here, let me strike a pose for you. Let me just get right here on this rock right down in front for you to take some pictures and get some video of me. But just look how cool looking this pleco is, guys. I mean, I'm just going to keep saying it. That is a really, really sharp pleco. And uh, I, I paused the video there to try to take a few pictures of these clown loaches. Uh, Dave, the owner, said, threw out there while I was filming the tank that he had had trouble getting pictures of those clown loaches. So I kind of paused to take some pictures for him since they were out and about. But then I go straight back to this pleco again because then he gets up on the wood. And I'm like, man, I got to get a a picture of him or video of him up there on that wood because I mean he's just gorgeous and just it was like he was just striking a pose for the camera so I had I had to take advantage of it I mean can you blame me look at that guy and how sharp he looks on that piece of wood goodness he's cool looking but we can't stay here forever we gotta move on and uh, coming down one tank got some big nasties down here uh, I think there were some red devils in there uh, should look at the sign here in a second to see what was there oh jumped up again randomly don't know what that was about <laughs> uh, so some Salvinis yeah some Salvinis are in there that's what that's the name I was trying to think of for these guys here again cool looking fish not a fish I'm prepared to keep but pretty cool was a guy came in a little bit later while I was filming that was really interested in those Salvinis. I don't know if he bought any or not, but it was another neat tank to look at. We got some potential monsters in there. Granted, these are all babies. As usual, when you go to a fish store, you're going to see a bunch of babies in there. Coming over here, we got some things I'm not going to try to pronounce. Red Empress, a Rhino Pleco. Uh, there's the rhino pleco. You can't really get a good view. A lot of times these plecos get up underneath a rock like that and the lighting just doesn't work for you to get any more than a silhouette. And it's just, you know, luck of the draw, what you're going to get there. But again, some cool looking fish in here. You know, things that I'm not going to try to pronounce what they are. Because again, I'm not an African cichlid guy. I love them. I just don't know enough about them because I've never really kept African cichlids. You know, albino zebra, yellow labs, albinos. Some cool looking stuff. Everybody loves the yellow lab. They're kind of classic. Then up here, more stuff I'm not going to try to pronounce. A few more cichlids. Top rack didn't have any lights on it, so we got a little bit more glare going on here. Let's jump right over to the next tank. Some Millennial Red Rainbows, Black Skirt Tetris, some Bozmani. Those Millennial Red Rainbows are really pretty. Got the Bozmanis in there. So kind of, kind of standard fare, but again, this is stuff that he normally wouldn't have had a few months ago. But now he's uh, branching out and getting a more, you know, typical fish. Adding some of those into the mix. Not that he has any less of the uh, unusual stuff, but he's adding in more of the stuff that you know your average fish keeper is looking for. And these, these guys, I always forget their name. Vestivus, Vestuvus, maybe, and somebody laugh at me and then correct me if I'm wrong. Those spotty green guys are one of my favorites. I think they're just super cool looking. I mean, they're not flashy. They're not ultra colorful. They just have a really cool look, and uh, I think they're really neat. I like those guys there with the, the black spot on their side, too. They're kind of kind of cute, kind of neat looking. Coming down, got some more cichlids. Like I said, he it's not that he doesn't have cichlids anymore. He's just adding to uh, the stock list. He, I, to me, it doesn't look like he's taking anything away because, I mean, he's still got a, a very wide variety of cichlids going on here, as you can see. But we're getting ready to uh, get into some tanks that have a lot more variety than what he would have had in the past. Over here, we've got Sailfin, Tetris, Picoltia, Orange Seam. I never found him. Albino Hecali. Those Albino Hecali were really cool. And, uh, I kind of got distracted by them a little bit and got the redhead tapaho. Everybody loves a redhead tapaho. And uh, back there in that back corner, I didn't realize it at the time because I was so distracted by those hecali that uh, there were uh, some electric blue 
Jack Dempsey's back there behind the sponge filter. And uh, later on, while I was still there, Dave pointed them out to me, asked me if I'd seen them. And I go back over, and not only had they come out from behind the sponge, but they'd uh, kind of locked mouths there, kind of tussling a little bit. Which, you know, that's something that if you see it in your home aquarium, you want to deal with it, you want to separate your fish. These fish are in a very temporary situation, and uh, they weren't like this the entire time that I was there in the store. Just when I went over to take this video, they were doing this, so I, I did video it because, I mean... They're striking a good pose, and they look really nice. I mean, granted, granted, they're fussing right here, but these guys aren't going to live together forever. So just saying that because I know somebody's going to say something about how that they shouldn't be kept together if they're fighting like this. Don't worry. There was uh, at least one person that came in while I was there looking to buy at least one of them. So they're not going to be left in that situation. All right, got some more rainbows up here. Some Goiter River rainbows, some Severums. And you guys know I love Severums, and he's got several different varieties of Severums. Uh, eventually, it's probably not going to happen this year, but eventually I want to set up a 125 in the fish room, and I want to get an Oscar and a few different Severums and get that get get that going with some Severums. And so that's definitely when I'm, I'm going to be coming back to this store because he's always got a good selection of different varieties of Severums and uh, not not even Severums. That's not what I was thinking. My brain my brain's going bad, guys. Sorry, I apologize. I'm not even thinking of the Severums, and I can't get the word out of my brain that I am thinking of. It's a fish I love. It's a fish I've said on this channel many times that I love, and because I said Severum, that's what's stuck in my brain, and I can't think of what I actually want to say. Oh man, some Ob Peacocks. Some Lion's Cove, Seno Lion's Cove. Again, I don't really know my African cichlids, but neat looking fish up here. It's driving me nuts that I can't think of what it is I want to say. No, Severums is what I wanted to say. What am I thinking of? I don't know what I'm thinking of, but Severums is what I wanted to say. Goodness, guys, I need more sleep. I apologize. <laughs> if you've watched 12 minutes into this video, uh, you now know that Carlos the Fish Nerd is not sleeping enough. Got some cool looking trophies. These guys are really cool. I was very tempted by these. I want to set up a Tanganyikan tank. And these guys were super cool looking. I may do a couple Tanganyikan tanks. And uh, I really like these particular trophies. These were ones that I hadn't seen before. Uh, especially not in person. These are not the Debosai. I, I'm sure it was on the screen just a minute ago, but I wasn't paying attention. Elongi maybe is a, I just saw I just saw Elongi in the corner of the screen maybe that's what it was but anyway coming down here you got some red tail cats uh, there was some, was it a fire eel I think there's a fire eel in there you got some arowanas up there in the corner cats moving around down here yeah there he is there's an eel over there in the corner I thought I was remembering what was in there Yeah, he's pretty cool looking. No, again, it's it's a fish that I appreciate, but I will probably not keep myself. There's a lot of fish like that that I appreciate that fish. Yeah, Severum is what I want. Festivum is the fish that I, for whatever reason, I was thinking in my brain that I had been saying Festivum when I was actually saying Severum. I love Severums. I like Festivums, don't get me wrong, but they're, they're not the one that I really want to have. Severums with my Oscar is what I want to have. And so we got a bunch of really nice looking rummy nose in this tank as well with the Festivums, not Severums. Uh, that, that's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to beat myself up for a while. That I think it's just because I knew that I had filmed some Festivums. And for whatever reason, I was thinking in my brain that I was saying things backwards saying festival when I actually was saying Severum, which is what I wanted to say. Got some vampire plecos in here. Uh, that guy's a little more on the medium side, but coming over here, this dude's a hoss. Big old vampire pleco back here in the back corner. Cool looking fish. I like the vampire plecos. They're not my favorite pleco, but they're, they're a neat pleco. Coming on up. Got some tetras up here. I don't remember 
We got some electric blue Acaras up here as well. Buenos Aires Tetras, that's what they were. A neat looking tank with all those Tetras up there. A lot of times, I, I appreciate that he actually has schools of Tetras. A lot of times you get there at a, at a fish store and they got like six, you know. He's a nice looking Vieja in here. But no, I, I did appreciate that he had some good sized schools of Tetras and you'll see some more of that later in the video when we get over to those tanks. Coming on down, a bunch of good looking angelfish. Some really pretty platinum angels and some half blacks. Very pretty. If if I was in the process of setting up an angelfish tank, I'd have been sitting pretty last Saturday when I was here looking at these fish because those were some really nice looking platinum angels. And uh, you can call me a copycat because King of DIY did it first, but I love that uh, platinum angel tank that he had going. I loved the scape of it. I loved the fish that he had in it. And uh, I intend to do something similar in the future just because I think it's gorgeous to have a whole bunch of platinum angels in one tank. There's a whole bunch of things that I'm not going to try to pronounce either except for firecracker, I'll say that. But we got some Trophius in here. These guys are pretty cool looking too, but to me not quite as sharp as the uh, Trophius that were in the other tank. But pretty cool looking fish. I like that red guy that was picking on that sponge filter just a second ago. I kind of skimmed by that. I don't know that I even noticed it as much when I was filming it, but I just now noticed it. I thought he was pretty cool looking. Coming back up, got some more good sized cichlids up here. Red Tiger Moda, Texas cichlids, some more Salvini. Salvini or Salvini? How do you guys say it? I don't know. I don't care. But neat fish. That Kind of having a little issue focusing there, but there we go. That guy's pretty cool going on with the uh, tiger stripe look going on. Got a parrot there. Some more focus issues. <laughs> it's the struggle of trying to film fish tanks, people. Is a lot of times the camera doesn't know how to focus through the glare, the glass, and the water. Now, this was cool. He had a blue light above these silver tip tetras and I'd never seen this done before and I thought it was super cool uh, the silver tip tetras with this blue light above them it looked like their fins were just glowing blue kinda like when you go play laser tag and you're under the black light and you know your the white things on your clothes are kinda blowing glue blue like that that's what these silver tip tetras were looking like and I thought it was super cool and you know we see people put black lights above like the glow light tetras and things like that but this blue light above these silver tips was super sharp and i thought that was a really cool idea uh to put some colored lights above your fish to really make them pop like that uh, i appreciated that i thought it looked really cool still do I, I i mean you guys saw it i mean not in person it did look a little cooler in person than on video things usually do but very cool got some more angels some Looks like some geos, that kind of thing going on in here. And uh, I forget what those guys were called uh, right here, but these guys are pretty cool looking. I don't know anything about them. Don't know what they're called, but very neat little little fish. He had several of them in there. Some of them had a lot more red on their tails than others did. I don't know what those guys are, but they're pretty cool too. And these discus, oh man, I'd forgotten about these discus. Look how blue these guys are. And, and again, the video doesn't do them justice because these guys were just such a deep, rich, pretty blue color. I mean, and this guy's not bad. That's not a bad looking discus, but that blue discus, man, just absolutely gorgeous. I think I was checking for plecos underneath the rocks there, but we'll go back to that discus here in a second. Oh, well, there is the pleco. I don't remember what pleco was in this tank, but there he is. Whatever he is, he's got some stripes on him. It's pretty cool looking. I didn't pay attention to the, uh, the signage on the tank when 
We showed that a minute ago, but... Looks like a, probably a pretty neat looking Pleco if we could get a better view of him. But let's go. Yes. Look at him. Look at that. Discus. Absolutely gorgeous. And, and Discus is another, another fish that I want a tank full of Discus at some point in the future. I, I just do. And if I had one already, I would have bought that guy because that was a gorgeous fish. Sinocellifer, albino German red, and something else <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce. Some cool looking little cichlids in here. Neat little guys. And what we got up top. Well, we already been up top, so let's come across. Got some more cichlids over here. Blue dolphins, maybe? Am I wrong? Maybe? I don't know. Again, you guys know I, I'm I'm bad at I'm bad at African cichlids. Let's see, was I right? Cobalt zebra? No, nah, I was wrong. Not blue dolphins. Sorry, guys. I call myself the fish nerd, and I can't even call out a blue dolphin let you guys down I'm sorry but these are some cool looking fish if I could just focus on them I like these orange guys but it's the that's the struggle trying to film a fish room or a fish store is uh, getting your camera to focus through the glare and the glass and the water and everything like that but now this tank chocolate cichlids orange severum Congo tetras Geo Balzani, Zebra Cynodonis, the ah, so many cool fish in this tank. This tank, I literally, I sat down, and this is one a, a tank closer to the floor. I literally just sat down on the floor, and I just watched this tank. The Congo Tetras were were schooling up in that corner, looking really sharp. The chocolate cichlids are looking super good. I want a chocolate cichlid too. Very cool fish. And these geos, that's a neat looking geo. They don't look, you know, they don't have that stereotypical geo face. They almost look kind of like a big German ram almost, but just kind of greener. I thought those guys were super cool. Severums are looking good. Look at that chocolate, guys. Look at that chocolate cichlid. And I, I ended up, I, no joke, I came over, I just sat in the floor and I just stayed here and I stayed and I stayed and I stayed and I just watched this tank you got a synodonis there in that little cave he's cool and uh, I think over here yeah there's the other synodonis that's a cool looking synodonis the all stripey looking but man I, I I appreciate a store that puts a bunch of cool looking fish in a big tank like this and I mean, all these fish are for sale. This is a sale tank, but I, I appreciated it enough. I just sat and watched it. You know, no shame. I'm, I'm not sorry for enjoying that tank as much. Got some more cool looking cichlids over here. I like the, uh, the marbling pattern on that guy. Really cool looking. And, well, I was gonna read them off, but. I'm not going to try now. Black Phantom Tetras and Epistogramma. I'm not going to try to pronounce this kind of Episto that's in here. I think I got good footage of the Episto that's in here. I'm not entirely sure if I caught that or if I ended up just seeing him later or if I actually did get him in this clip. I don't know, but there was a cool Episto in there. Apologies, it looks like I didn't get it, but... Uh, there's what's all in here. I'm not going to try and read through all that. But some more cichlids. Orange guy is pretty cool. What else we got in here? Oh, the Hoplo cats. These guys were cool. I was one. Uh, I forgot what I was about to say just now. But these Hoplo cats were neat. Uh, it's a I really don't know what to what to say about them to describe them. They're just a cool looking catfish, but their face is different. 
I mean, to me, I mean, I thought they were really cool looking. And uh, I'm gonna, I think i do something here in a minute, see if I can get them swimming around a little bit. Yeah. But I thought they were neat looking. Something a little different. Not quite a Cynodonis, not quite a Cory Cat, but just a neat little fish. If you ask me, I thought they were cool. But let's move on. What else we got? Gold Severums. Got some Rams in here. Looks like Electric Blues. Yep. Uh, blue Pinot. I never saw the Blue Pinot. Maybe. There's a true Inspector Pleco in here. There's some Pleco spots. It's not a not a real good view with the glare, but cool looking Pleco. Real pretty electric blue ram there. The electric blue rams are always a favorite just because, I mean, obvious reasons. Ooh, but look at this guy, this Episto here. I wanted him. That is a really pretty Episto. I want to do a few Episto tanks. I mean, there's... Uh, I do this every time I do a fish store tour, but there's so many fish that I want to do a tank of that fish. And uh, this is one of them because I mean, look how cool he is with those facial markings, those that black bar, the black on his fins, and that real pretty gold color. I mean, that is just a gorgeous fish. Look at that. That's a pretty fish. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very cool. Love those gold severums too. What we're trying to look at here. Got another gold ram. Coming on down, what we got down here? Got some more pistos. Thought we were getting ready to see a pleco back there, but I guess not. Got some horse face loaches. What else? What else? What else? Oh, some clown loaches back there. That's what I was seeing. It wasn't a pleco, it was some clown loaches. Focus in here on this female episto. She's kind of tiny. And what else we got? Okay, I guess we're gonna try and see a pleco back there, maybe. Uh, I got a feeling this isn't gonna work out. Uh, really fuzzy outline of a pleco back there, but I don't think we're gonna get a view, good view back there with that lighting. Trophius de Bosoy, those are the ones that we're all familiar with. The uh, the more common Trophius that you usually see. I'm, I'm assuming, and, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but the two kinds of Trophius that we saw early in the video, I'm assuming that they're harder to find, a little more rare. Because almost every time I see Trophius, it's these de Bosoys, Which are a cool Trophius, but honestly, I liked the, the first ones that we saw were my favorites. Partly because these Debosoys, they don't stay spotty like that. They end up, uh, actually, honestly, a little more similar to the ones we saw earlier in the video. Got some draft cats, albino senegalus, some ornate bashirs. Big draft cat there, another draft cat here. I say big, these guys are like four or five inches. Not near as big as what they will uh, grow to be. The ornates were looking pretty sharp. I like the... Uh, the ornate Senegalus, Bashirs, Polypterus, whatever you want to call them. I almost always say Polypterus just because I don't know how to say Bashir, Biker, Biter, whatever. It's, this, it's, it's the same rant we all go on every time we talk about them on video. Everybody talks about how nobody knows how to say it. So I'll just say Polypterus instead. How do you like them apples? But moving on up. Oh. That guy's cool, the uh, green dude with spots back there. Don't know what he is. You guys know You guys know he's an African cichlid, so I don't know what he is. But I like him. He's cool. The guys with the stripes are pretty cool. That long stripe down the back. Got a Cynodonis back there. A Shudentai Cynodonis. He's pretty cool. And while I was filming this tank... Uh, Dave, the owner, was at the tank next to me uh, showing some fish to another customer. And uh, it says Wormline Pleco on the tank, and I couldn't find him in here. And uh, so Dave was kind enough to 
get down in the tank. Uh, we should see that here any second now. Yep, here he is. He's looking for him for me. Apparently, he usually hangs out at the pot, and uh, he wasn't there. And turns out he was over here at the uh, sponge filter hiding up underneath there where I couldn't see him. But look at that guy. The Wormline Pleco. A fish I've never seen any YouTuber ever talk about this fish. Everybody talks about the leopard frogs. Everybody talks about the zebra plecos. I never hear anybody talk about the worm line pleco. And I don't know why. Because look at that fish. That was a cool looking fish. I mean, I, the, the video's already moved on from him a little bit. He's already back to hiding underneath the sponge filter. But you guys saw that fish. You saw those stripes, that cool yellow color. That is an underrated pleco, if ever there was an underrated pleco. Very cool fish. I rate that fish just as high on the coolness scale as the leopard frog pleco. And they cost about half as much. So, there you go. But, uh, it's got some tetras up here. And this guy here, this orange chromide, very cool fish that I did not know anything about. So, while I was there, you saw the, the video cut just now. I googled these guys. I stopped and took time to Google them to see what they are. This is a cichlid that is not an African cichlid, and it is not a South American cichlid, or a Central American cichlid, or a North American cichlid. This is a cichlid from India and Sri Lanka. And that just kind of blew my mind, because you think cichlid, you think Africa or New World cichlids. You don't think Asian cichlids, because there virtually aren't any. Except for these guys and maybe just a couple others, which are probably also different types of chromides. But I thought that was really cool. And I thought they were super, super good looking fish. And uh, I was tempted to get some as well. I, I, I've said that about so many fish in this video, but I was tempted to get some of those orange chromides. So that was just a, a neat thing there to find a an Asian cichlid. But let's see what all we got in here. Got some rainbows. Got some plecos in here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get a better view of him. We lucked out on the worm line that Dave happened to be right there and just offered to... Oh, yeah, there, you get a little better view. But Dave, he just offered to get in there and show off that worm line pleco. Uh, but no, I, I wasn't going to bother him while he was helping other customers, getting him to pick up his tank furniture for every tank I try to film to find all the plecos that he had in there and he um, every single time I'm, I almost said almost but not almost literally every single time I've been to this store he's always had a selection of plecos that you don't see at other fish stores he's always got an assortment of harder to find plecos whether it's things like the worm line or the snowball pleco or uh, he's had, he's almost always got chubby plecos, medusa plecos, uh, all kinds of different stuff. The, the sunshine plecos, gold nugget plecos. But these guys, the daisies rice fish, these were another fish that I'd never seen in person before. Very pretty fish. Super, and, and I was tempted. If they weren't $22 a piece, I was super tempted to buy a bunch of these and do some outdoor tubbing with these daisy rice fish. Because these, I, I, you can't really focus on them with the camera because they move around so much. And, I mean, they're, they're all over the place. So I couldn't really focus on any one fish. But they got that beautiful blue color with the orange highlights. Super neat looking fish. And I really wanted to get some. And eventually, I may I may get some eventually for, for some outdoor tubbing. Maybe next year if I can get a hold of them. But got some more cool stuff going on up here. Got some rainbows and some apistos up in this tank. A little apisto there. A little apisto there. Neat stuff, neat stuff. Got some mystery snails. Coming on up, some rosy barbs, flying fox, long fin danios, sword tails, 
Pleco here. I don't think we're going to get a good view of him. Too much shadow and too much glare. Man, this is, that's the that's the struggle of trying to use a point and shoot. If I had a nice, you know, DSLR with a lens cap that I could put on or something like that, that'd help with this glare situation a lot. But I use a point and shoot. You can't really put a, a lens cap or a, an anti-glare deal on a point and shoot. So that's the the struggle I live with, folks. Those sword tails are looking pretty sharp. I like those. Which I've always liked sword tails. Sword tails are I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. Sword tails are my favorite live bear. They probably always have been ever since I was a little kid. There's another silhouette of a pleco that lighting prohibits a better picture of. But yes, true story, honest to goodness. Sword tails have always been my favorite. Got a bunch of cool stuff in here. Got the clouded archers. Look at these guys. That's the first time I've ever seen these in person as well. I mean, we've all seen them on aquarium co-op, but this is the first time I've ever seen the clouded archers in person. This is a very cool fish. A fish I would not mind to have just because they're so neat. And uh, we, I've liked archer fish ever since I was a little kid and saw you know, a nature video of them, you know, spitting at bugs, you know, and that's just something that's super cool to see in a fish. And then you find out that the clouded archers are actually true freshwater and uh, you don't have to do a brackish setup and that just makes it all the better. Got a big old polypterous back there in the back. And uh, I think there's a couple of those in here, but there's some cool plecos in here as well. Let's see if we can get a image of them. Oh, goodness this is horrible video oh I, I know what i was doing i was trying to block the glare so we could see that that pleco right there i don't remember which pleco this was but i'm struggling there we go finally got the glare block so we get a, a view of him some nice pretty spots going on there there's a pair of pleco in here as well i don't know if we'll get a shot of him or not those archers are really cool i mean and just in their own right they're cool looking I mean, because you can't look at that pattern on that fish and say that's a boring fish. That's not a boring fish. That is a neat fish. I was excited to see those. I didn't, I didn't expect to see a fish that cool, but that is a cool fish. Very cool. I think I ended up just kind of sitting and watching these guys for a while as well. Same as I, I ended up sitting in front of the one tank, but then I'm pretty sure I just kind of stood here and watched these guys for a while as well. And it looks like I'm going to try again, but oh, he's not even there anymore. He's done, moved on. So we'll just move on down. Got some long fin albino bushy nose, serpe tetras, harlequin rasboras. Some kind of, some of your standard fare. Your typical community fish. Got some assassin snails in here as well. Let's see if we find anything under here. Little pleco hiding out. Whenever I watch these back and do uh, the voiceover, sometimes I'm thinking to myself, man, why did I try so long to get a, a, a shot at that fish? But I mean, if it pays off and you get a shot of the fish, then you know it's worth it. But if I spend 30 seconds trying to get it, a good image of a fish and it never pans out and you know it doesn't make for the, for the for the best video so i apologize to you guys for that but you know it's worth a shot to see if you can get a, a good picture of a cool fish some more cichlids down here that little guy was cool don't know what he is and i don't remember what was hiding back in that rock oh the uh the buffalo heads these guys are cool I like these guys just because they're, I mean, and they may not even be, but they, to me, they just look like a derpy fish, and I like derpy fish, and they just kind of look derpy, even whether they are or not, they look like a derpy fish, and uh, I like them. Neat, neat little fish. It, it doesn't hurt that they're unique looking, they don't look like other, you know, cichlids. Uh, some gold barbs, sunset garami. Oh, uh, Cynodonus lucipennis. These are a favorite for everybody. Everybody loves the Cynodonus lucipennis. But he had several of these little guys. They had a 
really nice sheen to them going on. Most of them trying to to hide out around the sponge filter, but a few of them out and about. But these guys are really neat, really cool. You don't always see the Lucipinus. Uh, you see the Multipunctatus a lot more often in local fish stores, but uh, at least, I mean, I say you don't, but I don't usually see Lucipinus uh, at a local fish store, but this is twice that I've been to this store and they had the Cynodonus Lucipinus. That sunset garami is really pretty as well. Very cool fish. Coming on up. Got a bunch of Tetris, some Hillstream loaches. And uh, these Hillstream, I'm trying to get this, the, this, this loach right here on the other side of this rock, or on the underside of this rock. He had been out and about right before I started filming. Then he went up under that rock, and I couldn't get good lighting. And it bummed me out because he had the coolest pattern. And we got a pleco up underneath there too. I don't know if we'll get any good video of him or if we're just going to get a, a silhouette of him. I'm trying, but let's see, maybe we'll find another one. I mean, because you got that hill stream loach there, but I don't think that one really does justice to the pattern that was on the, uh, the first one that I'd seen. Got a whole bunch of uh, neon tetras in there looking really good. And you've got this uh, red shiner in here. He was cool. I mean, that is a cool fish right there. Was, I think that's the first shiner I ever saw in a local fish store as well. So really neat to see him. Very pretty fish. And coming on over here, we got another cichlid tank. The Medusa Pleco in there. Some green Terror. Red Hump Geo. I don't think I got a good view of the Medusa Pleco. Uh, might get a silhouette in here somewhere, but I don't really remember. I do remember that I didn't get a good view. But I don't remember if we just didn't see it at all or if I just got a silhouette. Uh, yeah, no. It was right there underneath that rock in between that rock and the pvc and the shadow was so bad there was no way the the camera was ever going to pick it up but this guy here is trying to fight the camera getting all up in the the lens's face i don't think he was just wanting his close up i think he was just trying to pick a fight with that big black thing that was getting up close to his tank <laughs> come on down here these guys are cool looking those green dudes here. I like green fish. I, I, w let's just establish that. Carlos likes green fish. I just do. I like green sword tails. I like green cichlids. Uh, which, you know, maybe it's because green's one of my favorite colors. Maybe it's because you don't... I mean, you would think you see a lot of green fish. I mean, a lot of the native fish around me, you know, bluegills a lot of times have a green look to them. Bass have a, a green look to them. But as far as aquarium fish... You don't really see a lot of aquarium fish that are green. You see, you know, even the ones that are more natural colors and that aren't the flamboyant reds and blues and stuff, you see a lot more grays and whites and blacks and that kind of thing. So when I see a fish that just looks really green, I just like it. Got some plecos down here. Don't remember what we had down there, but we got some plecos. Again, the, the shadows from them. That's the thing with plecos. You gotta you gotta catch them when you catch them, because they're not all like that first pleco from earlier in this video, where they just come out and strike a pose. They they generally stay in their caves or under their rocks. They're not gonna just come out and display themselves for you all the time. But we love them anyway because they're a cool fish. Sorry for that quick zoom in there, but uh, we did kind of get a little bit better look at that guy as he backed up a little bit. That's a cool looking fish. I wish I could remember what he was. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so that you don't miss next week's video. You guys are awesome. God bless you, fish nerds. I'll see you next time.